Welcome back guys so as you guys know we got her home and now she is ready for this I have been waiting for a long while to install this stuff and I'm still getting parts so I mean it's not gonna be everything to make it run right now but it is gonna make it to where we can drop the motor in and tranny in so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a little rundown of what's happening. I have the tranny over there and I need to put the LSD, the LSD is in the box right here. And I need to put that into there because right now it doesn't have an LSD limited slip differential. So with that being said, I need to go ahead and take that apart, take the casing off, take the gears out, put the LSD in and from there. We'll put it all back together and then we can start putting like the mounts and stuff that are in this box the fuel tank um, all the accessory stuff like the shifter the shifter can go in here i mean there's just going to be a lot of footage and i'm going to be rolling out through with a whole bunch of footage just making sure that we get this thing knocked out i have a four day weekend guys literally a four day weekend so expect a lot of content coming your guys' way about this. I know it's been a long time, long time coming with all of this stuff going on. Um, it's just, it's probably overwhelming to you guys that literally I'm getting it done now. <laughs> and I got a banner. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there just because I want to, you know, clean it up. Well, yeah, we still got the Del Sol right here. The Del Sol's down. Um, I think I want to wrap it so I want to go ahead and get new fenders let's hope that I can find some fenders they're hard as freak to get so yeah we'll sand it all down we'll get her all straight so with that being said we'll just go ahead and do all that but yeah I'm gonna try to get as far as that I can we'll see where that goes Now that I got room for my toolbox, I can open her up now and I can go over to the side and kind of just start working on things. That being said, I'm just going to dive right into it. I don't know where to start, but I'm going to just go ahead and just try to dive into it. Also, yeah, I got my engine hoist. I could do this without an engine hoist, but I'm getting a little bit older. And for those of you that know me, I'm getting a little bit chunky. So... Uh, I'd rather not do that. I I just picked one up, not even really trying to be funny or anything, but I, I, I personally just don't want to do it. So I'll go ahead and just drop it in there by the help of, of that. Go ahead and get started, guys.
All right, guys. So I added the mounts. Um, I had to fin. I had to go get these bolts from my Del Sol over there. Pretty much installed the mounts. Now, if you guys are just tuning in and don't know anything about this or don't know me personally, you'll notice that this car was case swapped. There's a lot of stuff that I got lucky with. And now that that's a popular thing, everyone's case swapping their Hondas now. And it's a lot easier to find um, a case swap car. So all the stuff could be done for you guys. Like this one I got lucky. The brake tuck, normally there's brake lines like right up here and stuff like that. But, you know, I just got now brake fittings and lines that you know minimize the amount of brake lines in here and then this is all deleted everything is deleted there this one I'll go ahead and show it to you on the Del Sol so there's a tranny mount right there I don't know yeah right right about there and that needs to be drilled out pretty much you drill the tack the tack welds and so this one's already been done and these holes have already been drilled through there's like existing holes on the bottom it's kind of like they they meant it to be there eventually i mean i know this is a 95 so they didn't predict that you know a 95 would have a k series in it a decade later but um but yeah there's there's holes on the bottom we put put stuff on there um this one's just pretty simple you have your still same mount same everything that's pretty much it i think it is getting pretty late. I wanted to try to tackle uh, the billet shifter and cables. Now I know I have a regular box there, but that's a buddy of mine's. I was just test fitting. But the billet cable shifter, wherever that's at, I think it's in here. The billet shifter K-tuned with the fifth gear lockout and the K-tuned wires. See, they got K-Tune on them. I don't know if you can see them, but yep, that'll go. That'll be going in here. I think I'm just gonna call it a night. I mean, it didn't take me super long to do these, but I have yet to find some bolts for them because this this driver side bolt isn't the right one. I just used it to mock it up. It doesn't reach out quite to the back, but I gotta find my bolts. As you can tell, my garage is a mess. Just pretty much from today, so. Yeah, and after I'm done with the billet shifter, I'm going to go ahead and break into that over there, the tranny, and put the LSD. I'm just going to clear all that stuff all over there on the bench, uh, move some stuff around. I, I don't know where I'm going to put all this engine shit, the B-Series engine shit, but I'm going to move some shit around and, excuse my language, but I'm going to move some stuff around. And once that's all moved around, I'll go ahead and break into it. Uh, I'm hoping to either start that tomorrow or maybe the following day after that. She's got the mounts in her, so that's a good part. I didn't have to do too much work, just put the bolts back in, you know. Tomorrow I'll also set up that crane right there, have that ready to go. I'll go ahead and take that tranny, throw it up on there, and put my LSD in it once I get the LSD in it. Um, it'll be ready to mock up pretty much the tranny and the engine. They'll be ready to mock up. I think right now the only thing I'm waiting for is my flywheel. And then with that, we can kind of put everything together. And then that's when it actually gets pretty gnarly because we get to drop the engine and this car and will have an engine once that is all said and done. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty freaking stoked. I picked this car up a while ago, and I wanted to do something special for the channel. Something that I, I didn't feel kind of comfortable with, you know? Like, I didn't think I could push myself past the boundaries. And this goes to show that with hard work and dedication, you can literally do anything you put your mind to it. Literally. You could do anything. And, and I really do mean that. You know, spending so much money on this stuff. But now... I literally have gotten almost everything. I may not have everything, but it's to the little stuff now. We're, we're a family. To whoever I'm talking to over this screen right now, we are a family. Literally, and I just want you guys to be a part of the team 
that we have strived to build because Redline Crew is just about being family. We live on hopes and dreams and those hopes and dreams are pushed by motivation. So, by that being said guys, I'm gonna do my best to try to get this going for you guys. I, I didn't feel comfortable with any of this at first until I built myself up to the confidence that you know I can do this. And sure enough, the day has come that we are here and I am doing. So enough of that rant. I think I'm gonna just close out this video, guys. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. All right, peace.